as I told you I was gonna make this video and here we are today now if you take a look I have added a new blade this is a wall detailer blade it's a off-brand one I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to the things I use in this video and this blade now you're gonna ask me how good this blade cuts and I'm gonna tell you it cuts fairly well it's not the greatest blade but it definitely gets the job done so because of that uh, it's the blade I've been using I had a, another blade and it cut very similar and it was one of the original TY blades and that is what I use for this this is a mod this is the Kemi 1949 clipper mod and I did it with the detailer and how I did it, that's what we're gonna do in this video. So obviously you're gonna need a screwdriver. And I'm gonna show you the piece that I had to use. Oh my God, almost lost that. Almost lost that. All right, and, and I gotta say this, it's very important with these screws, you keep the original screws that came with this machine. Do not try to replace it with the um, detailer and, and I'm talking about the wall detailer for someone who doesn't know when I say detailers I am speaking about the wall detailers okay and the way this mod works is by this little guy right here see this little white this little white bracket piece that little white bracket piece is the white bracket piece from the wall detailer I'm not talking about the wireless one, I'm talking about the actual corded wall detailers. The way it works is that I'm going to show you right here where you're going to see when you take it out of your wall detailers, this little bracket, okay? You got to take out, you got to take off the body, okay? Unscrew it from the wall detailer, take it out, and then you're going to be presented with the little um little white adapter little bracket piece that you're gonna need so that you can fit a wall detailer blade on it because the blade that comes with this actual machine is not a wall uh detailer and the reason why i use a wall detailer over something else is because these fit perfectly with the whole alignment okay so this little bracket is the most important piece to make this transformation work and it's very very simple the key is you're gonna need like three tools obviously you're gonna need this guy right here a screwdriver you're also gonna need a mini hacksaw if possible I actually didn't do it with this I bought this just to show you uh, something a little bit better something a little bit more eco-friendly as far as size wise but it has a very fine blade that's the key because you're going to saw off these two little bracket pieces right here that you're looking at these two little bracket pieces will prevent this machine from this little bracket from actually sliding in because if you take a closer look and I'm gonna try to show you right here if I take this little, if I take this off okay you see this right here these two little points right here this right here and this well this is blocking this piece from going in okay so what I had to do was I had to saw off those little pieces so what's gonna happen is your actual little bracket is gonna those little pieces are gonna be gone so in, in this um, actual demonstration you're gonna see right here what it's gonna look like before and after okay so when you're finished it should be a finished product like this this is what you're gonna be seeing right now this on the screen is how this little white adapter should look after you saw off those two little ends once you saw off those two little ends it's nothing more than just making sure you line up the springs and that is it okay once you have those lined up you're good to go it's that simple it really is that simple it's a very simple mod now yes you can go with a more complicated mod if you use a different guard I didn't feel like going to that route and it's this simple that I'm able just to plug it in Now something I want to say is what I've experienced with this guy, it hasn't been perfect. 
And what I mean by that is one of the things I learned is I cannot tighten this too much. If I tighten this too much, that little white piece actually hits the edge of this right here, which prevents the blade from spinning as uh, fast as. So what I do is I tighten it all the way up and then, and then I start to loosen it up a little bit. Just a tad, a couple of, you know, a little bit, just, and you'll, and you can actually feel it start spinning with a little bit more force. And I'm telling you, these things hit pretty well. Will these replace my Babilis Pro FX skeleton? No, these do not replace it. These are more like second or third in line. And that's where we're gonna end this video because that is the information for how to mod this. That is very simple. If you wanna know my full opinion on how I feel about this machine with this mod, you're gonna have to stay tuned for the review. It's that simple. I'm gonna be do dropping out the review pretty soon because I have been using this for several weeks now and I have got some strong opinions. It's a real love-hate relation with this guy. Um, but uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe for that. This is another tool that you might wanna invest in. This is a sharpening stone, as you see. Again, you can buy this stuff at like a, a Harbor Freight or whatnot, a couple bucks. I'll leave a link in the description for some that you can pick up. You know, you got coarse and you have fine. It's two sides, right? You can take the original blade. You can sharpen it and go from there. If you don't want to do this mod, it's up to you. I'm just giving you another tip on how you can make this uh, something that works for you. I didn't like the experience, the cutting experience um, when I first used the blade that it came with. I did not like it. It wasn't that great of an experience cutting. Um, now I will admit I didn't use this to sharpen it. I will do that and in my follow-up review and I'll let you know more information about how that experience goes once I sharpen it. I have had win from one of my subscribers say that he's got like 11 or 12 of these machines and he's sharpened all his blades using this technique and uh, and he says he loves them. I mean, why what else will he have 11 or 12? But, you know, that's his experience and I'm gonna give you mine in the full review. So stay tuned, make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. You're always gonna know what I have coming up next. And you know, and you get some behind the scenes on this stuff. Sometimes I even answer your questions and let you know ahead of time, only sometimes. But guys, thanks for tuning in as always. I'll see you around.